What does Netflix and chill look like in space? Or a romantic getaway for the weekend into Earth's orbit? What if we told you there's a company that's intent on making space hotels achievable by 2025? Yeah, that's just three years away. Who are these guys and is this a serious estimation? Let's find out in today's video. Today's video is one of a kind. This is definitely one to recommend to all of your travel buddies as we're sharing the story of a space startup that aims to build a space hotel with artificial gravity by 2025. Waking up in a chic hotel room with a view of the solar system could be the future of weekend getaways, at least if the space company Orbital Assembly can pull off this feat. Orbital Assembly Corporation announced plans to develop a space business park complete with artificial gravity that's designed to accommodate 28 guests in five modules built around a rotating gravity ring. Whoa, can't believe all my sci-fi dreams are coming true. The startup, which is based in Huntsville, Alabama, is aiming to make its first Pioneer-class space station operational by 2025, in what some consider an ambitious and likely unrealistic timeline. Regardless, Orbital Assembly is intent on making this the first commercial hybrid space station that can be leveraged for both research and leisure. The Pioneer Station is one of two designs for commercial space stations currently being developed by the company, the first being the Voyager Station announced back in 2021. However, Pioneer is meant to precede Voyager, a larger undertaking that will be built with the aim of it being a sort of luxury space hotel capable of accommodating 400 guests at a time. Okay, so there's even a deluxe version coming soon. Let's backtrack a little, and let's learn more about Orbital Space Assembly Corporation, or OAC. OAC is working towards becoming a pioneer in extensive space development, and a leader in industrial space development. They're striving to enable humanity with the ability to work, play, and thrive in the space ecosystem. The companies develop the technology and capabilities to build structures in space at an exponentially lower cost than building them on Earth and transporting them. They believe that for the first time, space tourists and other inhabitants will be able to experience long periods in space without the debilitating long-term effects of zero gravity. You might be wondering what is the effect of zero gravity. Have you ever gone bungee jumping or cliff diving? Okay, y'all don't do extreme sports like me. But even one of those drop tower rides where you're just free-falling for a while, doesn't it seem as if you're weightless? Your weight is defined as long as you have something supporting you to realize this weight. You feel the experience of weightlessness when there's no supporting force acting on your body. Zero gravity is another term referring to the phenomenon of weightlessness. Bodies in freefall and those in orbit experience this. But here's the thing those nice space videos don't show you. Zero gravity environments have negative and detrimental impacts on the body in just 48 hours of exposure. While short-term exposure is recoverable, this aspect makes long-term habitation in space unsustainable. So, OAC works to enable humanity to thrive in space by designing on-orbit turnkey structures to provide a range of gravity from zero to one-third gravity, which creates a habitable environment for space tourism. But what about my plans for impressing a girl with a romantic vacation in a space hotel? Pioneer Class Station is projected to be completed by 2025 with the capability to accommodate up to 56 passengers and crew on four to eight habitation modules. This microgravity space station is designed for intermittent artificial gravity operation, providing the opportunity for long-term habitation. The Pioneer class station is designed to generate revenue in the following areas, tourism, manufacturing, and research. OAC anticipates the station will be cash flow positive in its first year of operation, and that its revenue will significantly reduce debt by 2026 so that OAC will be in a good position to fund future construction with minimal equity or debt financing. But come on, anyone with a business background will know that silly speculation. Has a construction company ever finished anything on time and on budget? How does the Pioneer operate? The COO calls it a spinning bucket of water. He says the station rotates, pushing the contents of the station out to the perimeter of the station, much in the way that you can spin a bucket of water. The water pushes out into the bucket and stays in place. Near the center of the station, there would be no artificial gravity, but as you move down the outside of the station, the feeling of gravity increases. Well, we can't say for sure if they can achieve this, but here's what's going on for them. They launched the D-Star program with a record-breaking successful ground demonstration in June 2021, where the team assembled a structure the length of a football field in under 25 minutes. 
They also have made significant design progress in the spinning bucket of water gravity ring and projected to launch to sun-synchronous orbit in 2023. Plus, they've at least completed architectural designs for the Voyager class and Pioneer class stations. While they're still fundraising, the question everyone asks is, is this achievable? Well, we can't tell you that until 2025. However, what we can tell you are all the updates about space tech that will be improving exponentially over the years. Whether it be hologram doctors in space or life on Mars, we have you covered on this channel. So hit that subscribe button and get into the future of humanity in space with us. If you enjoyed this video, please ensure to give it a thumbs up. Also, let us know in the comments section if OAC's goal is achievable. Okay, onwards and upwards.